Hi, I'm Cindy from BeDanceWear.com. Today in this video, we're teaching you quite a few things. One of them is simple ruching and rhinestoning, just using simple needle and thread and rhinestones to hold it all into place, a scattered pattern on the straps, and using our high-waisted briefs, we've scattered the rhinestones on there and using feathers to make a skirt. It's a fantastic look that'll get anybody's attention, taking a simple few pieces and turning into an expensive looking custom costume. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do a scattered pattern in rhinestones. I picked out some high-waisted briefs and a sports bra. Um, we're gonna do a few little uh, different things here. We're gonna add some feathers as a skirt around the briefs. Um, the top, we're gonna cinch up the top, real simple, and then add some rhinestones to it. So the first thing we wanna do is, um, I have some needle and thread. I'm gonna do it in white so you can see exactly what I'm doing. We'll wanna cinch this up because once you put stones on it, it's gonna make it harder to cinch up with stones. Um, there's a few different things that you might wanna use. There's chalk, um, Taylor's chalk that washes out. Um, dental wax, some people like to put on the end of a Q-tip so they can pick up the stones from the front side and tap them down into place. Some people like to use the syringes for precise, but you'll wanna practice with this. Um, sometimes it wants to leak out. Then we're gonna go ahead and add feather skirt and we're gonna put um, stones around the top of the skirt. We're gonna add the feathers along this brief line so it's perfect, so nobody will even see. We're actually gonna go halfway and halfway. Now you wanna put it on a plastic board so it stretches it to what you need um, because otherwise, if you put a lot of stones close together, it'll make it hard. So I am going to, I have this evenly on here. We'll wanna measure, make sure we're at halfway. So I have 11 inches. So five and a half inches, we'll mark. Right there, just a little light mark. So I know this center line where I want to pinch. We've measured it. Let's go right across there too. Just look at from end to end, what is the center point? Five and a half, so right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. Some people, if, especially if you're using bigger stones, like to use the tweezers to pick it up. But for me, I like to just use a toothpick and glue. So we'll start with the pleat here. Have it knotted and just weave it in and out. And then cinch it up. Let's go for one more pleat. You'll wanna see how, think about how deep you want that pleat to be. Put your finger there holding it and go back the other direction. Back through all those pleats. Now, I would suggest you go a few more times, but for this, we're just gonna go ahead and stop here. You wanna make it nice and secure and knot that there. There we go. You'll wanna play with it because once you put the glue down, it changes everything just a little bit. So, we're gonna go ahead and start on the top, we're gonna to do center here. I'm gonna pull the strap down a little so you can see. We'll do a pattern on the strap, but we'll show you from the beginning, and then you would just follow that around to the back. So I'm gonna use the toothpick technique. I'm gonna dab it in, get a little bit of glue. You know, this glue's not that fresh, so let's go ahead and put some more glue down. If it gets too dry, it's harder to use. So you wanna do just little bits at a time. Get that in, go to the back of the plate. I'm gonna go right over these threads so nobody will even see that it's white, but I suggest you use the correct color. If you see any strings, just twist and peel them off. So you can do a tiny cluster or you can do a big one. It's up to you. How many stones do you have to use? So you'll wanna think about that before you do it. Now this line is a little off. So you wanna make sure that it looks straight. Otherwise when it put, someone puts it on, it'll go to an angle and look funny. So you wanna make sure and pay attention to all of that. Now let's do a scatter pattern up the straps. 
I'm going to start in this corner. Because I want it to look scattered, I'm going to just zigzag back and forth. Whoops, little string. Now, you're going to want to measure it. There's different ways of doing it. You can basically, this, I'm going to eyeball it. You can use your finger and just now go from side to side. You can cut a piece of cardboard. Whatever it is that you like to do, whatever's easier for you. And you would just continue that pattern going down the straps. Now let's go ahead and flip it over. I'm going to do this, the scattering, before I do the feathers. Set these down here. We want to make sure that it's evenly on the board. The center seam is down the center of the back. I'm going to want to do the feathers just coming from here to here and going around the back. So I'm going to decide where I want it to hit. I've already done it on uh, the person. That's the easier way to do it. And I know I want it two inches in. So I'm going to mark two inches in on both sides. Always stop, look at it, make sure it makes sense. If something looks off, remeasure, double check it. So we're going to do a scattered pattern up at the top. I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece of cardboard. I'm going to cut about the distance I want it to be. Then I can use this for measuring. So, let's go ahead and start down here. I don't want it to look like a complete pattern, but I want to make sure the stones are at a correct distance. So I know from there to there, I'm going to divide my stones up, count them actually though, and have this side's for the right, this side's for the left, vice versa, whatever works for you. Then I like to go for scattering. You don't want to see a pattern. You want it just completely random. I like to put a few top, middle, and then start filling in. I always kind of look at it first and kind of know about where I'm going to be going. So if you see a string like this and you can grab it with the other end before it's dry, go ahead and do that. You want to make sure the pattern looks random. Sometimes you're going to get a glue spot. You want to work really hard not to get that. When this dries, I'll be able to come in because it's just a small clump on there and get it off. Before you put a stone down, just keep visually looking, seeing where do you think, see if I put one here, all of a sudden it looks like rows. So I'm going to go a little bit above. Oops. I like to keep them inconsistent so nobody sees a pattern in it. So we want each one of them to be about the same distance. Now I'm good at eyeballing it, but if you're not, use your card to tell. So all of them have ended up the same. If you're not good at eyeballing it, you're not comfortable with the card, you can go ahead and make a pattern. I would not use a Sharpie because if you don't like the way you've done it, then you'll have a problem. But you can go ahead and Let's say I want to do here, here, here. Make little with a tailor's chalk because you can go in and erase that. So your best bet is to do something like that if you're not comfortable right away. The thing I like about E6000 versus any of the other glues is it dries instantly. I can flip this over now and these stones will stay in place. So let's go ahead and flip it over. 
See? Not a problem. Okay, now for adding the feather boa. I've gotten a lot of boas, and I've decided how long I want each piece to be by putting it on the girls and trying. So I want each one to be 12 inches. But what I'm doing is doing a 24 inch piece because then I can get it halfway in the middle and sew it down in the spot. So what you're gonna wanna do, you'll have your thread, needle and thread. I'm gonna do it in white. They wanna catch on the boa. So what I'm gonna do is here's my yellow mark where the first one should start. I'm gonna go with some support right in the seam. Then I'm gonna take the boa. I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna push away the feathers and I'm gonna make a circle around. I wanna keep the thread on this side and the feathers on the other side because otherwise it'll all get tangled up. Now loop it around, use my thumb to hold it down, do it one more time. Now, it's gonna be hard to do a knot like this, so I wanna go through the back side and make the knot here. Otherwise, it'll get caught up in the flowers. Oh, excuse me, it'll get caught up in the feathers. There you go, and then make that knot. Cut it. Now, you can have it just a little in the front for a little extra poof, or you can keep that going all the way around, but what you'll wanna do is plot it out. You have 24 inches here, you'll do 24 inches here. Figure out how many pieces of boa you have because you don't want a blank space. So you wanna make sure you have one in the center and then you'd want one filling in the gaps. You can look at, depending on how fat your boa is, you wanna make sure, because when they put it on, it's gonna stretch out. You might wanna add another extra little touch. You can always take off a little piece. and sew a little piece back here. Just give it a little extra something, a little difference, but play with it, have fun. Just look at it on the girl, see how you'd like it done. I would suggest if I was doing it, make sure and scatter all the way to the back. The costume does not stop at the sides, cover everything. Just make sure you continue the pattern all the way down the back. Have fun with it, play, and just experiment. Have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please click here to subscribe. We're gonna have a lot of great videos coming out. And if you're interested in learning more about our dancewear, please click right here. All of our dancewear is available in over 200 colors and it's made right here in the USA. And lastly, if you have any questions or have an idea for a future video, please leave it in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you again for watching this video. Just remember, be original, be inspired, bdancewear.com